Hey everybody, welcome to the garden. I hope you're having a great day. Shout out to the lemon and lime lovers and everybody in between. It's time for the crypto market recap. Let's hop into these charts, see what the story is and what it may be. And remember, if you're interested in any of the services I provide, please check the links in the description below for both the Patreon and Discord. Okay, so before we hop into the charts, let's talk about the CPI numbers. So CPI numbers beat, uh, they came under estimates, uh, they did great. So I believe the estimate for the CPI was about 9, 9.1%. We ended up coming in at 8.5%. And then the core CPI, which is actually far more important. So core CPI measures the inflation without, without the food or energy. Okay, so without food or energy, and that was estimated coming around six to seven percent, I believe, and uh, that actually be coming in at five point nine percent, which is a great sign that we may have seen inflation top out last month. Okay, we, it's not confirmed, but it definitely is a great sign if you want to see risk on markets come back, which means you know growth. Okay, so you know if that should happen, then hey, we're gonna probably see an extended move to the upside going into you know the rest of this month and going into september um but things can change on the dime okay we we do have to keep in mind that the federal reserve at some point will comment and depending on the harshness or softness of their comments uh you know the markets can flip on the dime so we have to be ready for that as being you know uh responsible traders that are trying to make sure we trade safely um and that's what we'll do all right that's why i always i always end every video stay vigilant stay patient stay nimble all right we have to make sure we're vigilant so we're always aware of what's happening always aware of what's being said we have to stay uh, patient to know that hey we can't make a decision uh you know willy willy nilly we need to make sure that if we're going to make decisions that they're thought out and that they're timed correctly and then staying nimble means we don't overexpose ourselves. okay it's that simple that's the that's the way you make money in the markets period all right and looking at the markets after the report from the CPI, we're seeing a beautiful move to the upside. Uh, crypto has been moving up, to, moving up all day, and so has equities for the most part. And as we can see with Bitcoin, I mean, it's beautiful. It's great. We're still in the same structure, so not much has actually changed on the overall rising structure here. Okay, so there's not really that much to add on to that. Um, with these last three days, we've just been seeing a fight at 24,000, pretty much, right? So we've been hitting 24,000, getting smacked down under 24,000. And then just repeatedly going at that so it's been a pretty pretty choppy couple of days so you know if you're a scalper if you're a day trader you might have found some nice success here as a swing trader as we've been in position for all this time it's not really much uh much of a, a change for us um so we'll continue to see five twenty four thousand should we finally break through then look for the levels i've been saying which is about twenty five thousand twenty five thousand five hundred so this general zone will be that next level if bitcoin should get there then hey uh, it's likely we're going to see some resistance there may get may get a bit of a consolidation uh we're leaning towards a bullish consolidation in lemon garden we're still bullish here and then we'll probably get a breakout going towards you know 26 28 maybe even 30,000. okay once you get towards that level hey uh we do have to remember we're still in a macro downtrend okay so this is a this is a macro downtrend so we want to make sure that we don't get too greedy with things uh just because it gets towards 26 or 28 or even 30 doesn't mean we're going to get all the way back up to 50 60 and beyond all right but as of right now we're decent uh we're comfortably in our long and thanks towards thanks towards uh, our, our altcoin performances over the months this position uh there's really not too much risk in it okay uh just right now we just have to stay uh, patient and just sit in it and see how price action develops all right the odds are that we do break up to the ups upside still as i've been saying so not not much has changed even after yesterday's sell-off and today's buy-up all right so let's take a quick look at polka dot polka dots had a fabulous day so yeah so <clears throat> if you're in polka dot with me uh we're doing great <laughs> we're doing great uh yesterday i mentioned in the last recap uh, it was a much long much a very long video that's going to be much much longer than this video i'm going to try to keep this really short um you know fighting at nine dollars and 43 cents nine dollars and 45 cents so yesterday i was very tempted to close around there um and then it you know sold off and uh i was okay with that like i like i mentioned that recap video hey you know the risk reward for for me if it even came all the way back down towards my entry which is somewhere down here uh, it, it was definitely worth it considering other positions that were in I closed and took profits So what that meant was the position in dot in polka dot the risk was far lower, right? So I could give it a lot more room um, And that's the beauty of swing trading and controlling your portfolio weight 
uh, when you can get to a portfolio size where you have multiple positions and then those positions closing and opening affect your other positions you create this really nice like symbiotic relationship between your positions it, it's really cool to see and one of my goals with the lemon guard is to get your portfolios to that level so you can see it okay and you can experience it but as of right now it's doing what i thought it would do which is after a consolidation or a rest day like yesterday we would have a push higher getting towards ten dollars and more possibly so ten dollars is my you know my general target i will likely close out the position there that's where i'm right now that's what i'm planning to do unless i see something on in price action on smaller time frames that is like clearly impeccable telling me hey we're likely going to get a push higher then i would stay in but other than that ten dollars looking or really close to ten dollars looks very good to take profits because we are deep in the money we're deep deep in the money so if you're on polka dot with me just make sure uh you're paying attention to my updates because uh, i'm likely going to close this out fairly soon um if you're in decent profits and you want that money now hey you know you do you you don't need me to always tell you what to do just use me as a guide as I've mentioned just use me as a guide all right uh, polka dot does you know let's just say you know this daily candle sells off or the next daily candle is a massive sell-off we'll look for this this support line this rising trend line to play the role right so this rising trend line is going to play a role uh, whenever polka dot wants to come back whenever that may be you're going to see this level get you know uh tested and if it holds that's great it's likely going to break it's not a massive support line it's not something that has a lot of uh uh resolve so it will probably break down um and depending on where polka dot breaks is you know you know reaches this level it could be here it could be here or it could be all the way up you know over here okay it just depends on how long this takes uh as of right now uh, we're likely going to you know have some sort of consolidation prior to ten dollars and then uh you know probably break towards this level here okay so we'll probably see something like this and then break out and 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 once we get towards here look for a pullback of some sort okay all right uh and the next one we're going to look at is cardano so we're along this too cardano beautiful so unlike polka dot it's actually been hovering on top of this short-term rising support line uh and yesterday tapped it today tapped it and then pretty much just bought got bought right up off of it and now we're going to attack this top pivot here so this top pivot right here so this one right here uh which is topping at let's see so 54 cents so 54.9 so just about 55 cents if that gets taken out you're probably gonna see a really nice move towards 60 cents it's gonna be a really nice move uh actually getting past 60 cents will be somewhat dependent on bitcoin but 60 cents will be a great place for us to look to close our short uh, our long my apologies so close our longs uh but right now we're deep in the money in, in cardano as well uh or at least in decent money in cardano as well so yeah we're just going to continue to do what we're doing so even after yesterday's sell-off and today's buy-up the structures have not changed for us so it's been a pretty relaxing day for us swing traders in the lemon garden all right so looking at and before i go to solano but you know with cardano if it does lose this short-term trend line to the upside then we have a couple levels we're going to be looking at so the first one will be about 50 cents to 48 cents and then the next one which i think you're going to see a, a pretty decent amount of of activity is going to be about 45 cents to 44 cents so this this trend line here has been proven to be very interesting uh short term wise and then if that's lost then we're going to look to pretty much tap this level here which is about 39 cents which is this bottom wick level here um that level holding is actually fairly unlikely fairly unlikely if we should break down it does depend on how price action interacts with this level at 45 cents 44 cents uh but if it does get down to 39 cents i do see it going lower uh, so we do have to keep our eye on that but other than that the probabilities right now are leaning towards more upside going towards the top of this pivot at 55 and then eventually 60 cents okay so solana let's see solana again <clears throat> beautiful rising structure you know again all these rising structures you do have to have some of a bias towards the the, the bearish side it's a, it is a negative structure um but just because they're negative doesn't mean they're going to play out immediately uh you do have to you know keep in mind that you know these these things take time to mature these structures these patterns take time to mature and uh of course they some of them fail at different times for different circumstances so that could happen as well but uh but they all take time 
And uh, just because they're there doesn't mean they're going to play out this very moment. Uh, and Solana looks great. You know, again, Solana, it's this this rising trend line actually must hold for Solana, right? It's a far more important uh, trend line for Solana compared to like a Polkadot or a Cardano, because short term there's really not much uh, there's not much support down here until like 22 bucks. So if it does lose this rising trend line, well, you know, it can get pretty it can get pretty nasty on the drop. So, you know, when I took this long. Uh, you know, I, I kept in mind that you know the the fail the fail the failure the failing level was clear, right? So if we lost this rising trend line and then we lost this horizontal support, so this confluence level right here, then hey, it's probably it's probably going to be prudent to close it. All right, the probabilities were that we would go up, and so far we are chopping around this level. So so far we are likely going to probably see, see more upside, at least getting towards. Uh, 45 to and then eventually 50 bucks so 50 bucks is where I do see uh, Solana getting to once we get there I have to see how price action looks but I would I would bet that would probably be a pullback there at some point and maybe even coming back down towards you know this trend line here right so again uh, we'll, we'll see how this plays out but Solana was a free trade so it's for all members patron and not um, and I think we're, we're we're in the money right now, or you know, somewhat in the money. We're not deep in the money or anything, but um, just keep your eye on it and, and uh, make sure you know if you were following me in the trade, make sure that you have uh, you have the alerts set so you know what I'm doing. Okay. And uh, is there anything else I want to look at? I'll take a quick look at Ethereum as well. Uh, let's see here. So Ethereum, Ethereum, uh, beautiful. Wow, yeah, Ethereum, really, really cool. So you know, broke through this. Uh, pretty major level so this is actually like a weekly uh support level now weekly resistance level about 1700 bucks and then popped right up from that cpi data so massive pop today for for ethereum and tapping 18 you know 1850 1877 uh and uh we're gonna see if it can get that that next push higher to try and break towards 2000 because 2000 is my level that i do see ethereum getting to and anything past 2000 um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting uh, interested in possibly shorting, okay? Because there's gonna be a lot of overextensions. I hope for at least um, overextensions in crypto, and we may be able to get some some possible uh, short entries. Um, and like I mentioned earlier in the video, I am starting to transition the portfolio, at least in stocks so far, uh, to get short, get negative on the market. So I would like to see if there's any opportunities in crypto. Um, but we do have to be patient. We have to let these things happen. We can't force shorts. Okay, we have to take the positions when we're at the most probable levels for them to play out and uh, make us money. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about for today. I'm going to keep it short. So uh, I make sure if you haven't seen my recap yesterday that you do. It's a very important recap. I know it's long, but there's timestamps in the description, just like there's timestamps in this video. Um, and if you have any questions, just contact me via Discord, via in the you know in the Discord, or you can just DM me. Okay. All right, everyone. Remember. Be patient, be vigilant, and be nimble. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.